When it comes to muscular hypertrophy, training volume is one of the most important variables dictating whether or not you're optimizing your response. The traditional definition of volume is the number of reps times the number of sets times the weight. So for example, if you're doing five sets of five with 500 pounds, that would be 12,500 pounds of volume or something of that nature. The problem is you can have high volume. It isn't an effective stimulus for building muscle. So for example, somebody could be doing 12,500 pounds of volume from five sets of five with 500 pounds, or somebody could do 10 sets of 10 with 135 pounds. That's not gonna really be that challenging, but it will be more total volume in terms of work than the five sets of five with 500 pounds. But the five sets of five with 500 is gonna be much more of a growth stimulus. So how do we define volume in terms of how it relates to muscular hypertrophy? And the best way we have to define volume is the number of hard sets. How do we define a hard set? Typically, it's defined as a set that is within a few reps of failure, preferably within five reps of failure. So if you're not taking a set to within close to like five reps or less of failure, it's not that it's not gonna have any effect on muscular growth, it's probably just not optimizing the growth response. So when it comes to number of hard sets and how many you should use, we don't have a clear answer on this yet. What we do know is if you're resting like say more than three minutes between sets, it's probably around six to eight sets per muscle group per session. If it's short rest periods, you actually need more sets because each individual set has a lower hypertrophic response. So if you're doing like less than three minutes of rest between sets, it's probably more like 10 to 12 sets or 10 to 12 hard sets per muscle group. Now, how many on a weekly basis? This is where it gets really, really difficult to know. But in general, we don't know if we found the anabolic cap on a weekly basis for sets per body part. But we do know that say 30 to 40 sets per week appears to be better than something like 10 to 20 sets per week per body part. And we do know that you're probably better off splitting it up into multiple sessions. Now, as you can see, if you're doing 30 to 40 sets per every body part, that is quickly going to add up to a lot of volume. What I will say is if you're a beginner or intermediate, you don't need to immediately jump to that many sets. In fact, you can probably just do a few hard sets per week and still get a really big hypertrophic response. I would say only add hard sets as you start to plateau and need more sets in order to make progress because once you get to the point where you've been lifting for five or 10 plus years, you probably are gonna need a lot of hard sets in order to continue to make progress.